Daytime baseball here on MLB and Network. Now, Today it's Grapefruit you League action between the Boston Red Sox Atlanta. and the Atlanta Braves. It's interleague baseball on MLB Network. Ian Anderson gets the ball for Atlanta in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Listen, you can only make your debut one time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. So here now is Jackie Bradley, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Fouled off. First pitch, 107. And this will be fouled away. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. That was aggressive pitching in that at that. And I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. Should be in for a warm one this afternoon. 91 degrees, our first pitch temperature. Little chopper back to the mound. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. That is third. The right fielder, number 99, Alec. Striding into the box, Alex Verdugo. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The pitch. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. Riley has got it, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. And now the Braves will step up for their first opportunity to score. Nate Valdi is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan, any thoughts? A huge arm comes with Nathan Eovaldi up towards 95 to 100 miles an hour. All the way back from Tommy John surgery, power pitcher deluxe. His best swing and miss pitch, though, is the split finger. He'll throw that to both righties and lefties. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ozzy. Ozzy. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Pitch on the way. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count, heater caught too much of the zone. Hit back up the middle. Bogarts has it. And a good throw gets him one gone. Batting second, not shortstop. Charlie Settling in now, Charlie Culberson. Hey, 
Now the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. Devers gloves it. Throw gets him two down. Batting third. The first baseman. Ready. Freeman. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Freeman. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Now here it comes. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. Line toward right center. Bradley is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Braves are set down one, two, three. Still no score. New inning set to get underway, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Struck him out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. Here's J.D. Martinez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Big curveball swung on and missed 0-1. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. him up. Darno is there. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. First pitch of the at bat. This is lifted into the air out towards center field. Bradley is right there, one down. Batting the catcher, Travis Darno. Stepping up now, Travis Darno. First pitch coming, here it is. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate, and for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else, but he should have pulled the trigger. Behind 0-2 now. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. He 
takes strike three called on the fastball couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Junior. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. And he lays off for ball one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Two balls and a strike. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Down in order go the Braves. We'll move to the third with no score. So striding in Bobby Dahlbeck he's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. set up perfectly there as he's not even close to touching that pitch and on four pitches he becomes out number one good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count you can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier stepping in now Christian Vasquez Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And there's the first hit of the game for the Red Sox. Well, after being laid on a fastball there, it looked like they did him a favor. Yeah, Matt, that's surprising right there. I don't understand that pitch sequence. He blew the fastball right by him, sped up his bat with the off speed, and got hurt. Into the box now, Nate Valdi. Now a bunt attempt here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now that the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now, runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and he loses the bat from his hands as it heads over toward the first base dugout. Looks like everyone's okay, however. Fouled away. Vasquez stands at second with two gone. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. One left for the Red Sox. Home half of the third coming up. No score. 
stepping in for the Braves Adam Duvall seven eight and nine to start the home third not much going on offensively so far for these guys six up six down we'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going well the home crowd seems a little restless so I'm sure they'd appreciate it first pitch on its way swing and a liner foul. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike, and they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So not the start to the inning he was looking for as he got the strikeout, but the runner reaches anyway. At the plate, Austin Riley. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Verdugo backing up on it, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. The relay throw won't get him. Well, he's certainly not shy, is he? He goes up there looking to be aggressive and takes a big rip right here. Squares it up and lines it for a double that goes all the way to the wall. Great work out of him. At the plate, Ian Anderson. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, I get it. You want to be aggressive, but man, these guys are swinging at everything. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Dahlbeck is under it and he's got it for the first down. The batter, number one. So up steps Ozzie Albies. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. From the stretch. Pulled toward right center field. Verdugo waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And they're going to put the tag on at third. He's out trying to advance, and that somehow becomes a double play to get him out of. Moving off the ball. First delivery to him on the way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-0 home. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Two and two. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again.
Here's a fly ball well hit. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now batting. Third base. Rafael Devers. Here now is Rafael Devers. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. In there at the letters 0 and 1. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93 but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that looking at a fastball to end the inning Red Sox go down one two three on to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score now with the play Charlie Culberson 0 for 1 for him here in this one this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle Charlie. innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case hard hit ball to second throw by Pedroia be in time and there's your first out now that is the first baseman Freddie Freeman so next up will be Freddie Freeman, the winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for first baseman in the National League. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Good power curveball there, and he's in control 0-2. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Two quick strikes and now the 0 2. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. No runs just one hit and no errors so far for Atlanta. Able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit hard to the right side but foul. Here's another one two. Another foul ball and this battle will continue. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Bradley is there. And the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. Through four. Still. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the shorts. Stop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Turned on down the line, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Got him. 
And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 after a pop-out in foul territory his first time through. Swing and a miss for strike one. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. One out, nobody on. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really Galvez. sharp out there, guys. Bobby Galvez. In now, Bobby Dahlbeck. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and zero. Dahlbeck, an imposing right-handed figure at six foot four inches tall. He was a fourth-round selection back in the 2016 first-year player draft. Hey, this middle-round selection is still developing, but he's doing it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Last half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. And the pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. One out. The center fielder. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. Pitch on the way. Strike swinging. Chased a high one there. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Trying to send him packing for the second time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Martinez giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting. The right field. Adam. You ball. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth. And up next, former San Francisco minor league property Adam Duvall. First delivery to him on the way. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Hey, he's close to having another quick inning right there with two quick outs. He's been very economical with his pitches. And if he continues to go like this, the bullpen might get a day off. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two man that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed he must have a really good eye at the plate hit high and deep to right center on the run is Verdugo he tracks it down and that will end the inning down in order go the Braves sixth inning coming up still zip zip Top half of the sixth about to get started. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First offering on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his zone with all different options. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. And 
he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Standing in now, Nate Valdi. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Now that the two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter Jackie Bradley Jr. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Hit softly down the line at first, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Nick Pavetta is on his way to the mound now as he'll work in his eighth ball game here this spring. Nick. 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 Pavetta. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard on the ground towards short. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, the pitcher, Ian Anderson. So in now is the Atlanta pitcher, Ian Anderson. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Him. The batter, number he came to play today. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. So now to the plate, Ozzie Albies will swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And now a double play ball perhaps for Pedroia. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Jairo Munoz is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number 7. Jairo Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Behind 0 and 2 now. The pitch. 
Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Boy, he's just been setting them up and knocking them down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there and see you later. Andrew Benintendi will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Bases are empty. One man out. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound now right that. now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Jose Peraza will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Jairo Munoz will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Andrew Benintendi stays in the game after pinch hitting, and he'll be patrolling right field. Jose Peraza remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. Steven Gonsalves gets Offering on its way. Oh, and one, here it comes. Yanked on the ground down the line, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind Owen oh two now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. Well, there's the great equalizer, the change of the El Cambio. Listen, five. if you can keep Ready. that pitch in your back pocket and pull Ready it out back. when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Pulled toward right center field. Bradley on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Popped him up. 
Vasquez has a play. And that's the third out. Braves are set down one. CJ Chatham is going to be asked to get things going here. To lead off the top of the eight, Tyler Flowers is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. A defensive change for the Braves. Now playing shortstop, number 43, CJ Shadow. Bryce Wilson will come out now and make his first appearance of the spring. Number 46. Pops this one up. Freeman over to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Austin Wright will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Austin Wright. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hit hard to short. He's got it. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now batting the first baseman, Bobby. Dahlbeck. So digging in now, Bobby Dahlbeck, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Takes just four pitches to retire the Red Sox. We are still scoreless. C.J. Chatham is the new shortstop as he stays in the game after entering as a pinch hitter. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Matt Hall will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Christian Arroyo is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. First pitch on its way. Lifted down the line and left. A defensive change for the Red Sox. Chavis will get there with ease as he puts it away for round number one. So striding forward now, Ronald Acuna. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. One out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Striding in, Adam Duvall. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Duvall. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Into the wind, the 0 1. That's a good Smoked on the ground, left side. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and next to hit is the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left, hooking just a little, and that's off the left field wall. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Wow, he was willing that thing to get out of here. Would have given them... Christian... 
Goya. And now he'll step off and raise his hand towards second, but he'll just hold on to it. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Christian Arroyo, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go ahead run a chance to score from second. And he just manages to get his hand in. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. In today's game, it's seeing so many guys strike out and not worry about it. I'd love to see a little two-strike approach right here. Maybe shorten up a little bit and try and four-speed something the other way. Ready with another two-strike offering. The bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. Throw just in time. And, oh, that was awfully close. Now batter, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Now at the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Spinning a throw back to second, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. The 1-0. Hit back toward the mound. Reined in. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Now back. Second base. Gyro. Kevin Ploiecki will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 25. Kevin Ploiecki. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And clearly this is a critical moment in this ball game. Go ahead run it third with one away. The 0-1. Oh Runners are at the corners with one man out. And a throw over to third. Runner back safely. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he will look at a called third strike. And that go-ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Strike one to start the at-bat. Here's a little chopper up the middle. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. And here's Jose Peraza. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Now a swing and a fly ball. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Red Sox settle for just the one. Wilson. 
Kevin Ploiecki stays in the ball game in the eighth spot and takes over at second base. Ryan Brazier comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. He's set. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is Benintendi. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And this ball game is tied at one. Boy, that can be demoralizing. You have the lead and you give up a home run in the bottom of the ninth to tie it. Now you just have to continue to play this one out. Alex Jackson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. for the Braves. Number 12, Alex Jackson. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One down. The batter, number one. Now batting, Ozzy Albies. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. You know, it's funny, I can count on one hand the times I was able to actually go to the plate and think home run and hit a home run. I wish guys would just focus on getting into their rhythm at the dish, trying to hit the ball hard and let the chips fall where they may. When they try and hit home runs, it usually doesn't happen. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. At the plate, Charlie Culberson. He looked about Ender Inciarte will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 11, Ender Inciarte. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Chavis is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer and we're right back where we started from. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth, all tied at one and one. Ender Inciarte will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing shortstop. Number 11, Ender Inciarte. Chris Martin takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Stepping in, C.J. Chatham. He'll be the one to start things out as we begin the tenth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility. So they have to play that way. Albies will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. The left fielder, number 23. So here's Michael, Michael Chavis now. Chavis. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch popped up. Martin moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. The pitcher. Jansen Witte will grab a bat and hit 23. for the pitcher here. Pink hitting for the Red Sox. Number 55, Jansen Witty. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. 
Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. The 0-2. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Nothing doing here this half. So Connor Siebel comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Connor, ready for the bottom of the tenth here, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. And he buries a breaking ball that time. Good pitch, and it's 0 and 2. Hey, watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Now at the plate, Marcelo Zuna. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he will make it into second base as the winning run is in scoring position now with only one away. Hey, nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. Here now is the catcher Tyler Flowers as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one and he's got a chance to bring in the winning run the question is whether they'll even pitch to him the 0 1 oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one nothing in two this hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball I think you go right back to it and a big pitch coming here late so he'll step out and ask for time possible game winners at second base here with one away hit high and deep to right center chasing after it is Bradley but he's not going to get this one it's into the gap the relay throw and the runner stuck in a pickle between third base and home the tag gets one the tag and it's a double play and that gets him out of the inning Leading off with the Red Sox, the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. Checked a swing there and pops this one up. Freeman has it, and it's a quick out number one. The At the plate, Christian Arroyo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This ball will be chopped foul. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Throw on the first gets him, and it's a fast start to the 11th now. Already two away. Now batter. Stepping in, Jackie Bradley Jr. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Fouled away. Oh, and two, here it is. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So nothing happening this time around. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the. Martin Perez takes over now to start the home 11th. And he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Lifetime against Martin Perez. He's 0 for 4. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Perez, once a Minnesota twin, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been now looking for come off season. The right field. Adam Duvall. To the plate now, Adam Duvall. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Acuna is digging for home. And they've come back to win it here in 11 innings. Endings just don't get much better than this. Great job at the plate putting the ball in play. And then the runner at first does the rest. Stop at third. No way. Rounded third, flew home, and scored the game winner. My heart is still in my throat. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Well, when you rack up a whole boatload of strikeouts like he did here, there's not much of a debate to be had. He was fun to watch, and I'm excited to see how he backs it up next time. Pitching and defense game, two to one, the final score this afternoon. Chris Martin is the winning pitcher of record, so that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Red Sox, one run, four hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.